Hello, welcome to episode, what is this now, like four, four, something like that, maybe four, maybe, yeah, I think it's like four or five, I don't really remember at this point. Anyway, welcome back to Olympus Craft. So I've been hard at work at a bunch of things over here, finally got all of this finished up, got the smoke rolling, looking great, uh, create setup is going, got some auto crafters built, had to make a potato cannon if you recognize that shape. And then over here, I have actually started on my base. Started on the floor layout. This is kind of like the area. Let's see if we can get a free cam here and see a little bit better. I know it looks kind of funny right now, but uh, yeah, this is going to be like the floor layout of how the base is going to be. This back here is going to be like the main base area. It's where I'll operate out of. It's where my storage will be, so forth. And then uh, ancillary buildings up here and over here. And then there'll be some additional buildings that will go in over in this area over here. And maybe even back into here as well. Uh, this is going to be my spaceport. So this is going to be the, the, the big space themed area. And I'm, I'm so excited to get all this stuff started. Um, over this area, if you uh, noticed it was cleared... I did actually clear that with uh, some create machines, and I'll, I got a couple replays of that in action right here. And they work really well. They're just basic drills attached to a, an extended piston. And when you push it forward like that with just a couple water wheels, it turns out to just clear your land for you. So I let most of it despawn. I didn't grab most of it because it was just uh, a lot of junk, kind of. But it worked really well for clearing out this large area. So I could have gone a little bit farther and I thought maybe I should have, but I'm not sure what's going to go in what position yet. So I didn't continue on that. It's really pretty easy to build those back up and I'll just like put one right here and let it sweep across and let it sweep across and it'll clear the land for me. I know this is Minecraft and I've not really been doing a whole lot of mining other than for, you know, basic resources and stuff. But, you know, when you have machines to help you automate things, why not? And here we are, we've done some building. So, here's the main base. I guess this is the living qu quarters. Uh-oh. Has Rob been in here? Do we have a chicken problem? Well, it's not too bad as of right now. I have to do a little bit of chicken elimination here. Get back here. They're so fast. Anyway, I'll clean these chickens up. At some Was that teleporting out of here? That would have been hilarious. Um, so yeah, I got the main base, you know, built up right here. Nothing super fancy. It's pretty basic at this point in time. And yeah, there we go. So I can talk. These chickens out of here. Uh, I went ahead and put the, I have so much stuff in my inventory. I went ahead and put the ME system, moved it from there over into here. So now we can access our system. I can throw stuff back in here, all the above. Help me clean my system out here a little bit. And we, uh, I made another terminal here. I made the pattern encoding terminal. I don't know if I'm going to necessarily use this, but whenever I designed this, it was too wide and it, I needed something else. It just kind of looked kind of funky without that there. Um, I'm probably going to do some more redesign in here because there's a lot of room that I just, I'm not using because we just have this one level. And I may put some floors up in here. We have opportunities to put like another floor in here. And if I do that, then I can put something else up there and use the uh, elevators to get up and down between them. Um, I did craft up another controller, again, because it's too wide. I wanted to make it look a little bit better. My end goal is to have those controllers wrapped clear around in a circle, or in a square, I guess, 
And what's cool about these controllers is they are multi-block, so they will, like, the colors will link up and stuff like that. And it looks really cool when you, you make them into a big thing. It does require more resources, and that's why I've been gathering some more resources to be able to pull that off. Um, you saw some Certus Quartz. Yeah, I got some more Certus Quartz and stuff like that to be able to make these things up. It is kind of time-consuming because I have to use the Inscriber to do a bunch of stuff with it. But, yeah, so we've got things moved over into here. And I've been working really hard ever since I started this to build out a place underneath to do most of my manufacturing type stuff. So if we take this elevator down here, this has been my recent project. So I cleared out a large section underneath and you can actually see where that fountain is at right there. Cleared out this large section underneath Built up my steam engine, and I've got the, the stuff going down here to handle lava buckets. Um, the lava is actually being pumped from the other side over here. Basically the same lava farm that I've always had before. And uh, everything's luckily is underground and close here, so here is that lava farm. So I'm actually full up, which is really nice. And the lava goes both down that direction with the uh, modern dynamics pipes. And then I'm using just a good old create pipe to run the lava over this way. It's a lot more complicated because these only run 15 blocks, the pumps do. So it was a little bit more complicated. And then I have this uh, steam engine over here uh, powering the stuff that's over up above my base right now. And it's the same thing here. We just have empty buckets that go in here. Um, they get transported over, they get filled with lava, and then they go over into here so the mechanical arm can feed the blaze burner. So here I built up a little tiny little uh, basalt farm uh, somebody needed some basalt and so it's relatively easy to build one of those and just a mechanical drill right on the side there and it just mines away the basalt and gets picked up with the minecart so that works pretty well over here is my little packing system and setup for oh, somehow this reversed direction that should not have reversed direction either way um, this should have been going the other way and I was using this to make up these magma blocks uh, using magma cream from a magma cream farm and uh, I have a decent amount I really want to build a gold farm and the magma blocks are the best option for that so I need to get things flipped back around apparently this gearbox does not need to be here it's hard to tell what happened something changed the direction of everything sometimes that will happen with steam engines depending on how you know chunks are loaded and stuff like that so I could easily take that gearbox out and flip it around so but back over in here, it's a pretty basic create setup right now. I have my steam engines running. Here I have my washer, my smelter, and my haunter. So we can do all three here. You just put the items in this chest here, and uh, they go through and then come out over here. So I can do all three of those. We've got our roller here to make some of the create crafts and additions stuff to roll out stuff. We have just a press. We have our poker set up here, which is nice mill. And then over here we have our alternators. Now, I'm just using this to charge up an energy cell right now. Eventually it would be kind of cool to be able to power with FE my whole system from these steam engines. So this obviously turns that shaft, the shaft comes down here, comes up, and then turns these alternators. These alternators just spin at a certain speed. And let me put my engineer's goggles on and I can show you. And get my fancy goggles on here. And uh, yeah, these generate 45 FE a tick at their current speed. So if I speed them up, they make more. Um, if I slow them down, they make less. Stuff like that. So it works pretty well. And then here's the mechanical crafters I was using to make things like the... Uh, uh, let's see, I made the crushing wheels with it. Because it's a very complicated recipe and you need the big mechanical crafter to, to do that. So this is the setup. We're going to be building out more things down in here as well. So I'm going to have additional... Uh, setups of things down here. I don't know what they're going to be yet. Depends on what mod I get into and things like that. But yeah, this is just kind of like a processing area. Underground, out of the way, and uh, not part of like this up in here. So I don't have to have like machines sitting up in here and everything. They can just be underground, out of sight, and out of mind. So in a previous episode, we went and mined up a whole bunch of ancient debris. And I have since turned that into netherite ingots. So we are at a point now where I would like to be purple and shiny. And so I figured with 18 netherite ingots, that is enough to upgrade all of my gear here to netherite, including my pickaxes. There we go, cover me in debris. Including my pickaxes, my sword, 
Let's see, do I wanna do my shovel? That's got mending, sure, put that on my shovel. Um, Axe has mending, sure, we'll put it on that too as well. This is just an extra axe I have there. And this still gives me nine netherite ingots left. So we did pretty good in our netherite mining session. That is uh, super exciting that we are now, well, it helps if I put the armor on here. There we go. Whose goggles make things look really weird. There we go, we are covered in netherite. So we are ready to go, I guess. All right, everyone, that's gonna be it for me today. I really appreciate you guys tagging along and I will see you all in the next episode.